Punky Brewster will return after these messages. But also in the heroin business. Allegedly sent here to this remote farm town 11 years ago by his mafia bosses in Sicily. Two hours away in Olney, Illinois, another Joe the Pizza Man, Giuseppe Truppiano, who the FBI says is also a mafia mole. Allegedly sent here to open a pizza parlor, raise a family, and blend in so that when orders came from Sicily, he could quietly slip away to help smuggle in huge shipments of heroin and then move the heroin to dealers in the big cities. United States Attorney Rudolph Giuliani of New York. I'd see them as uh, foreign counterintelligence agents. They were working for the Sicilian Mafia. As best we can tell, they, that, uh, they would in increase their ability to conceal themselves by going to, uh, to small towns rather than operating in big cities where you have big city police department and departments and large contingents of FBI and DEA agents who are sensitive to looking for drug dealers. The Mafia agents who were sent to the Middle West all came from this one town in the mountains of Sicily, Genesi, and according to the FBI, were all hand-picked relatives of the Mafia boss, Gaetano Badalamenti, who is now under arrest in New York. The men from these quiet streets established a reputation as the most ruthless and violent Mafia criminals in Sicily, killing off entire rival factions to take over the business of shipping heroin to the United States the Mafia's most lucrative racket. The men from Genesi came from small town and moved to small towns in this country. But there was nothing small town nor small time about the way they set up their business here, establishing contacts on Wall Street and here in Congress. NBC News has found that at least six members of Congress, for reasons that are not known, introduced these private immigration bills to help get the alleged Sicilian Mafia figures into the country in the late 1960s. None of these bills passed, but they were introduced. Sponsors included Senator Charles Percy of Illinois, who introduced this Senate bill on behalf of one of the Sicilians, Pietro Alfano, now charged with playing a major role in the Mafia heroin business. Senator Percy would not talk about the bill, but a spokesman said the senator was asked to introduce the bill by constituents, whose names the senator cannot recall. Once in the country, the Sicilians appear to have done their heroin dealing for more than 10 years before American authorities caught on to them. These are FBI surveillance pictures taken outside a bakery in New York City that authorities say was another one of the Sicilian mafia fronts. FBI agents who watched the Sicilians said the heroin and the millions of dollars in profits from heroin were often carried around in plain brown grocery bags and that in many cases, within hours of leaving here, the cash in the grocery bags was delivered to two big Wall Street brokerage houses and then transferred to Switzerland. Prosecutor Giuliani says his investigation almost fell apart when one of the brokerage houses, E.F. Hutton, told the Sicilians the FBI was asking questions. By E.F. Hutton uh, letting people know, it uh, literally stopped our investigation. And if we had not gotten another break, uh, and a couple of other breaks, actually, to, to, to uh, initiate the investigation all over again. I'm not sure we would ever be able to eliminate these drug dealers. A spokesman for Hutton says the FBI did not make it clear that Hutton was not supposed to tell the Sicilians about the investigation. Federal authorities say they don't know whether they found all the alleged mafia moles sent here from Sicily. Joe Pizza Man in Olney, Illinois, and 28 other alleged mafia agents have pleaded not guilty and will go on trial next year charged with running the biggest heroin smuggling ring in this country's history. Brian Ross, NBC News, Olney, Illinois. When we come back, check your guns at the door. Those are fighting words in a small town in Wyoming. Around your home.